can't believe I'm touching this, but ugh. <laughs> and welcome back to my channel. Well, I'm doing something that I said that I wouldn't do ever again, but I'm filming at Goodwill. Now I'm filming at this Goodwill because I'm in Florida and I'm going to see how the Goodwill measures up um, with the one in Indiana. So let's go in and see. Maybe this will be, a, maybe I'll get one whole video out of this one Goodwill. I doubt it, but maybe we will. So let's go in and see what we can find. Now I see a whole section of Christmas right over here. Whole section. That's where I'm going first. Christmas, Christmas, Christmas. We're right underneath the, the uh, speaker. This looks like a pimple, but it's not. Kimple. Oh, look at Mrs. Claus. Well, hello, girl. Hello. All right, so unfortunately, we're right underneath the speaker. So here is Snowflake Taper Candle Holders. Um, let's see, this I think might be a Pier 1 um, ornament. Yep, it is a Pier 1. They had these in, um, they would come in their cases. This is 2017 for $1.99. He's got little pencil got eyes. eyes. Little pencil eyes. Oh, he's kind of cute. He's got his little sack, a little wooden Santa there. Got Emma with me, and there's my mother. Say hello, mother. <laughs> All right. More Christmas. What are you? Merry Christmas. Oh, there's two of these. Let it snow. We've got all kinds of stockings, too, which don't... I mean, look at stockings, because... Like, this is a nice quilted one. People like to use them in their displays. Oh, look, here's a Christmas sweater for Maybelle. She hates, she would, no, we can't do that. She, she hates, she won't walk if she's got a sweater on. Okay. Uh, that's a leprechaun hat. That doesn't belong in the Christmas section. Oh, there's a, a wrestling mask. That's also in the wrong spot. Sometimes you might be able to find Christmas tree skirts. Oh, well, look at that. That's a Christmas pimp hat. Oh my gosh, Emma found some, she's found some fabric. Yeah, but we can, we can, we can make it into a table runner. So yeah, you, you should get that. That's all right. We'll get, we'll get it for you, Emma. What is that? A boot. A little boot. Ooh, I like this stocking though. That's very old world looking. I like that stocking. It's a little. Uh, let's see. There's quite a few stockings here. This one's got little ice skates hanging from it. I don't think so. This is a nice stocking. Max. Aw, Max is talking. No, Aw, no what's that? A little tree skirt. Oh, Christmas placemats. I believe in Santa Claus. It's only three of them there. Yes, I do. How much is that? Three. Yeah. Hold it up. Let's see it. It's a Christmas tree skirt. Absolutely. Throw that in the cart. That's an easy thing to... That's an easy thing to take home, too. Here's a Santa latch hook thing, but it's just like something that you'd hang that on the wall. That was pretty cute. <laughs> Boston Celtics. So these stockings are nice, but yeah, always make sure that you look through the linen. Oh, here's some some Christmas boxer shorts. Mmm, some more boots. No, she does not need a coat. There's also Christmas pajamas here. Look, the life of the party pants for Colin, Emma. Kinds of Christmas things here. It's just full of, like the shelves here are full. The Goodwills in Indiana do not have full shelves. They are empty, empty shelves. And this just has full, full shelves. All right, I'm gonna try to not 
make an avalanche here, but I wanted to see the bottom of the... Emma, can you pull this tray out? Yeah, you pull out all the potatoes. Aw, that's cute. It's $2.99. I'm not going to get it, but... Well, I wanted to see it. <laughs> all that work, and I decided not to get it, but... Gotta look at the bottom. Gotta find stuff. This is our first time shopping since we've been in Florida. And sometimes things that you like think, mm, what's that? But sometimes if you look at these bottom of these pottery pieces, you can find some good things that you don't, that are kind of unsuspecting. That might be a good piece of pottery. So if you're always in doubt, look it up on your eBay app and see before you check out. And then over here, we've got bags full of ornaments and things as such. Boy, I just can't get over how many things are on the shelves here. An easy ornament hanger. Just these, these shelves are full. I'm just, I'm shocked because we do not have these full of shelves in Bedford. Oh, here's a purple bottle brush tree. There's even Christmas here along this back wall. Are you amazed at how many things are on the shelves? Yeah. <laughs> There's just so many more things here than back at home. This looks like a, uh, oh, it is a nesting doll. Nesting dolls of snowmen, I think. They're made in China. They're not real, real. They're not Russian nesting dolls. $1.99, but... It's not really the kind of nesting dolls that I'm looking for. This looks like Hallmark candy cane sugar cookies. I'm not seeing anything necessarily. Some nice magazine racks down here though. That This one's really nice. I know. I know. Unfortunately, we we have uh, we can't take that on the plane. Trivia Pursuit, The Walking Dead. It might be worth uh, scanning to see if it's worth what anything. The heck is that thing? Oh my. You know what people do like? I can't believe I'm touching this, but. Ugh. Creature. It's like a flying something. It's a creature. Probably worth lots of money. I don't even know what it is. No, I like to look at the games and toys like this right here is sealed it's a scrapbooking good i i flew here so I, I can't take everything home with me but sealed puzzles and games are always a good thing to look for for resale amigo bands and pop culture trivial pursuit don't think i really want that and i don't know what hilarium is but it's sealed pandemonium in motion i'm gonna scan it just to see all right, I scanned it in the eBay app and brand new seal they sell for about eight bucks plus shipping. So we're gonna put it back, but it is a good, always a good idea to check. Always to check for, I don't think this is Build-A-Bear, but some Build-A-Bear dolls um, can be worth quite a bit of money. Also, some of these animatronic, I don't know if animatronic is the proper word, but this is made by Dan D. His batteries are broken, but sometimes they can be worth a little bit of money, too. So, it's always good to check them out and see, just in case. Here's a little kitty cat sitting on a chair for $1.99. Put you over there. I'm not really buying that as much anymore because I have a shelf full. Here is a little tray here. It's got really pretty fall colors on it. It is a Dar and made in England. It's $2.99. I'm not going to get it because I'm not really buying a lot of fall items right now because I really don't want it to sit on the shelf for another year because we're kind of going straight into the Christmas season or the holiday season now. So I'm going to leave that behind. Here we've got a little, what are these guys called that they stand on your boat? They, they, they row your boat. Gondoliers? I think that's what they're called. Gondolier man. Oh, they're having a party. Someone's someone's painted this guy. World's greatest athlete. All right. 
got really excited seeing all the Christmas stuff. Now it's just like, mm, not really finding a whole heck of a lot right now. But you never know. You never know what's hiding behind some of these things. This is a really nice coffee mug, though. Uh, Ripley, Illinois. Canon Ripley, Illinois. Very nice coffee pot. Uh, little John Sarsaparilla root beer. That's a heavy coffee pot there. Oh, here's a kitty cat. Oh, someone's kitty cat on a tile. Yeah, that would be a soup mug, wouldn't it? Well, me keep looking. Not gonna, not interested in any pots and pans today. I really don't want to take them back with me on the plane, so we're gonna skip looking here at this aisle. Oh, there's some children. I don't know what they're doing. They're just, they're loving, they're loving children. Hmm. Lots of like sculptural type pieces and stuff like that. Kind of a lot of big things that I'm not gonna take with me back on the airplane. All right, here's a little uh, item that I'm thinking I'm going to get. It's $4.99, but it's a Ted de Grazia. You can see right here. It's a little candle. Um, sandstone Creations. And, yeah, a little Ted de Grazia thing. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look it up and see. Um, but I may be getting this today. We'll, we'll see. Right, I think I am going to leave this behind. If it was like $2.99 or so, I would buy it. But the candle has been burned and they sell for about $9 or so on eBay. So I think I am going to leave that behind. So we're just kind of looking and shopping for the fun of it and hope, hope, hopeful to find a few things that we are able to take back for resale. All right, so we got a few things and everything that I got you had seen, but we're getting ready to go to another Goodwill, probably a couple more Goodwill. So I wasn't able to just do one solid video in Goodwill as per usual, but we'll go ahead and we'll pick it up at the next one and um, we'll see how they compare. So on to the next one. Okay, so we are at Goodwill stop number two. So let's go in and see what we can find in this one. Okay, here we go. Oh, those are Hallmark. I know, I'm gonna see if they work. This one still has the tag on it. I'm gonna get this one. Yes, it does. So does this one. How much are they? $5.99. They probably just need batteries. Yeah, they probably just need batteries. So we're gonna get these with tags on them. Oh, those are cute. Oh, that's cute. Yeah. Um, just a tissue box, I think. What's over here? Olaf. He just likes warm hugs. Does he? He's like all. Can you turn him on? He's like a robot. A tree topper that she might want. I'll have to ask about a price. Oh, it is. Someone was really. Chair cover, maybe? No. I don't know. It's a hat. It's a cape. Yeah. <laughs> we don't know what that. Don't know what that is exactly. There's kitty cats. What's this Martha's garland. Need some paper garland, Emma, from Martha. The North Pole Express. Uh, I've got some more plush up here. Happy holidays, sister. All right. I probably will take a closer look at those Hallmark guys. Here's the Douglas fir. He's the talking tree. Look, you can hook him up to your microphone and he can have your voice. That's kind of fun. Santa has seen some things. He's up. He does something too. What do you do, Santa? Do you work? Mm -hmm. I don't know what you do. Ooh, gosh, this is a creepy looking Santa too. Look at that. Some creepy Santas in this place. Stained glass look Christmas nativity scene. It's still, oh my word. What are those? Oh man, this doesn't have a readout. Um, three metal 
Oh, oh, you can make this. You, it's like a, you put it in your oven and you bake it. That's fun. We're gonna get that. Uh, no, I don't think not. Not today. Not today. There's a William Rogers panda. There's some absorbent stones. Hey, mom, here's some Christmas coasters. It's like something that you might want. Mm, let's see. Set of four play. Oh, there's a little key cat. Christmas bisque ornament. Oh, wow. Look at her. She's got a lot going on. What does she do? She spins or something. Wait, look at her. She's got flocked underpants on. What does she do? I kind of want to buy her. She's $1.99 because I want to know what she does. Okay, girl. We're going to find out. I'm going to buy you, girl. You can show me your under flocked underpants and spin around and show me your skirt. Oh, my gosh, I know, but I can't take this bag of stuff home on the plane. It's kind of Yeah. Emma said she's found some questionable items. Are you ready? Sure. First thing. Oh. That dog is the angel on your tree. Second. What on earth does he have? Um, oh, it's made in Brazil. He has chocolate chip eyeballs. First thing. What? Now, now, why would you want that? It's a possum, I think. Yes. Well, look, they got collectibles in here. Bottles, squirt. Oh, oh wow, handmade, blown. From Poland. Poland. What do we got here? Who are you? Okay. Yes, Virginia, there is a Santa Claus. What? <laughs> I don't know why they're together, but they're cute. <laughs> is that a pinata and a cat? Yeah, this is Roman. So this is, it's actually a collectible. <laughs> they make a lot of angels, but he's like a pig, pinata pig. The Siamese cat. Oh, 1989. You know what? We might have to look this up. That might be. It's porcelain. Hmm. Oh, and there's a cow. Kissmas. He just wants a hug. He's so scared. He just wants a hug. What What's animals? this? No, man. Hey. Yeah, Opryland. It's two. Black cat. World's drunkest employee. <laughs> That's nice. <laughs> Easter with my peeps. Pottery barn. Oh, yeah. I like him. Thankful. I promise, again, I say this a lot, the clanking is not as bad as it sounds. These are like little birds. Little birds on those dishes. Well, there's President and Mrs. Kennedy. For $2.99. Little commemorative plate there. Hmm. Somebody painted that. An ice bucket that she likes. That's kind of neat, actually. How much is it? Four dollars. It's pretty cool. It's very 1990s. It's very clean. Do you want to get it? It's very 90s. That's cute, Emma. That's the style now. All the stuff that we no longer have is now back in style. But isn't that the way it always goes? It's the way that it always goes, it seems. Oh, here's a uh, hen on a nest for $4.99. I myself don't care much for these, but I know a lot of people like them. Not a bad thing to find at Goodwill, honestly. That's Avon. Oh, it's a shiny bolt. Mm-hmm. That you use that to make ice cream. Ooh, look at that. Chafing. No, it's like more of like a chafing. Look, baseball. 
nut. Baseball nut. Oh, here's some brass Dolphins. Bookends. Those are kind of neat. Yeah, that'd be nice and heavy. Some candles. Beeswax candles. They're bejeweled with these pink diamonds. Got Bahamas. I think that's more of a chafing dish, isn't it? More than a fondue. Oh, looky there. That's going to be too much. Oh, we're not taking that on the plane. I, I don't... What is that? I'm a little teapot. <laughs> it's not a little teapot. All right, so we left that Goodwill, and now we are in a really... Probably the fanciest Habitat for Humanity restore I have ever seen. Look at there. Look at that. It looks like a furniture store in there. So we're going to go in here and we're going to, we're just going to check out this Habitat for Humanity. Here we go. Our Habitat for Humanity. Oh, that, that's a pretty credenza. Well, this is the nicest Habitat for Humanity I've ever seen. Yeah, it's sold though. Sorry, it's sold. Well, you know, I'm, I can't, I can't bring all this furniture with me on the plane. So we're going back here to the tchotchkes. Wow. Look at all the light fixtures. What is this? A little duck box for $20. All right, let's go back here and let's look at, there's books. We'll get to you in a minute, books. I'm seeing a leaning frog. You're a leaning frog for $2. There's one of those Cocopelli candle stick holder guys. All right. Music's a little loud, so I'm probably going to continuously talk. This is Italian. No, it's not. It's made in Mexico. I was wrong. That's a made in Mexico. <laughs> That's a made in Mexico uh, picture. Mid century modern decor. Well, no, it's not, but it's, it, it's trying to look like that. It's definitely trying to look like that for sure. All right, here we got little people. What are they doing? Little pewter figurines. This one's $10 and that one's $5. Ooh, this is pretty. This cake plate is pretty. A Gorum, some cut crystal. I mean, this is really nice. This is a really nice Habitat for Humanity. Sure is. Okay. What else do we have? Well, look at you. Your little calendar of a little doggy. A little doggy calendar. Some more cut glass. Some nice pots and pans. Wow. See Pretty nice things. Yet? No. Pretty nice. It's stuff, a little too though. bougie. Yeah. It's, there's a lot of nice things here. So we didn't end up getting anything in there, but wow. That was the mm -hmm. nicest restore I've ever been into. Now we're going into Dollar Tree. We're going to see how the Dollar Tree holds up to, in Florida versus Indiana. I'm pretty sure it's probably about the same, but my Dollar Tree has not had any of the Christmas bottle brush trees. So we're going to see if they have them in here. All right. Well, we've got Christmas here. What are these little berry picks? Little berry picks. We're looking for, it's like they're still putting out Christmas things. We're looking for the bottle brush trees. Hmm, season of joy. This is a little elf. A little elf. Well, it's like they're just now getting out the Christmas stuff out, so probably won't see any bottle brush trees. There's some little houses. And a little white bell. Oh, there's a baby. A baby up there. These are kind of neat. 
piece. Hmm. Well, we'll have to keep checking. I do have the bottle brush trees, but man, I hate these flocked ones. They get they they get all messy. I got white ones and green ones, but quite a bit of them. You get two of them for a dollar, so that's nice. Okay, so that's going to be all for this video. We went to a couple Goodwills and to the bougiest, nicest uh, restore I've ever been into and a real quick Dollar Tree. So thank you guys so much for shopping along with me while we were in Florida. I didn't buy a whole lot, but if you saw something that you might be interested in, you can send me an email, thriftyjunkervintagehunter at gmail.com, and I'll let you know if it is still available. But thank you so much for shopping along with me, and until next time, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. I'm just a girl, a wonderful girl, I'm the sweetest one in town. Can search for miles around, and no one like me can be found. I've got a smile, a wonderful smile, in a certain little way.